Okay, um, in this video, we introduce uh, the two differential identities of the cell functions. Uh, so the first one says the derivative of t to the nu of j nu is equal to t to the nu j nu minus 1. The second one says the derivative of uh, t to the minus nu j nu is the negative of t to the minus nu j nu plus 1. Now, notice how this first one uh, kind of uh, resembles the differentiation of uh, powers. So, remember that uh, derivative of t to the nu is uh, obtained by multiplying by nu, then subtracting 1 from the power. So what happens with uh, the first identity is, uh, well, we don't multiply by nu, but we subtract 1 from nu, but not this power, but from the order of the Bessel function. Um, and then similarly, um, for the derivative of uh, t uh, to the power minus nu, we multiply by negative nu, then we subtract 1. So then the new power becomes negative of nu plus 1. So similarly for this second one, because that's a negative a, so we get a negative in on the right hand side. And then we add 1 to nu, but uh, the nu denoting the order of the Bessel function. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show a derivation or a proof for the first one and uh, then we're going to leave the second one um, as an exercise. So starting with uh, the series uh, definition of the Bessel function like this, we're going to multiply both sides by t to the power nu. Since the um, dummy variable is not new, we can multiply into this. And so that's going to change that one into t to the power 2 nu plus 2m. Then we are now going to differentiate uh, on both sides. So t to the power nu, j nu here. So on the right hand side, we're going to multiply by this power, so we're going to get 2 nu plus 2m, negative 1 to the power m. Then we are going to subtract 1 from the power. The numerator is going to be still the same as before, uh, nu plus m plus 1 m runs from 0 to infinity. Then in the next step we are going to factorize this term into 2 into nu plus m negative 1 to the power m t to the power 2 nu plus 2 m minus 1 uh, t to the power nu plus 2m, and this one we can rewrite using recurrence relations of the gamma function, going to be nu plus m times the gamma of nu plus m. Then what's going to happen now, this is going to cancel out with that, and this term we can bring down into the numerator still, the summation is from 0. To infinity so in the next step we are now going to have negative 1 to the power m t to the power 2 nu plus 2 m minus 1 all over 2 to the power nu plus 2 m minus 1 um, times m factorial gamma of nu plus m 
okay then what we are going to do is we're going to factor out the t to the power new that we multiplied by to start with then the numerator is now going to look like this i'm just going to write this in a different color so new minus one um plus two m here okay then all divided by two to the power again new minus one uh plus two m so plus two m here m factorial then um I'm going to write this as gamma of um, new minus one um, plus m plus one. Okay. Then, um, if you compare this with what we started with here. Uh, so this expression here, just going to take out the, just going to take out the t to the power nu, like this. Then what we have here is exactly the same as what we started with there, except that all the nu's are uh, now replaced by new minus one here so this is telling us that we now have t to the new times j new minus one of t and uh, so that completes the derivation of this first uh, differential identity all right so like we said the second identity it's going to be left uh, as an exercise otherwise thanks for watching the video hopefully it has been uh, helpful do please do subscribe to support our channel and comment below and on any topics that would like us to treat thank you